Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce you to my NFL data visualization tool. Once a year, a magical event called the NFL Draft happens. In this event, NFL teams will draft eligible college players to their teams. Each NFL team is allocated draft picks based on their performance the year prior. Typically, the worst team picks first, and the best team picks last. In the draft, there are 7 rounds and usually 32 picks per round. There's a good amount of research that goes into the player selection process due to the fact that the first round picks will typically have the largest contracts in terms of money, with the possibility of a fifth year option to each contract. Because of this, a measurements event called the Combine occurs many weeks before the draft, and at this event, players will be tested in an attempt to quantify their athleticism. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to start by showing you guys the Excel file that I'm working with. Right here, this is the Excel file that I've got. This Excel file was scraped from Pro Football Focus data by a, a Redditor, and they so kindly just posted it to Reddit and was like, do something with this to, to the world, right? Here you can see the, the pick where each player was taken, the team that drafted them, the year they were drafted, the player, their position, their position category. We did this because sometimes you'll get like offensive guard or like outside linebacker, and we, we just wanted to create some uniformity with this then the college that they went to, and then we get into their statistics. So for every statistic that there is, we normalized on a scale of 0 to 10, at least for the combine statistics. Uh, and this was, we normalized from 0 to 10 using Gaussian distribution. And the reason we did this is so that we didn't have any outliers kind of skewing the, the normalization or the averages. So let's go ahead and get into the visualization now. Boom. So you can see here, we land on the page. Here we have some buttons that we can click. We have some radar charts. We have some histograms and we have a parallel coordinates chart. We immediately land with Devonte Adams. I'm a big Green Bay fan. So I decided let's go with one of my favorite wide receivers and let's go ahead and compare him, right? So here's Devonte Adams and how he compares to the average NFL player. Like I said, these are the values of the normalized data on a scale of zero to 10. Actually, I think it's one to 10. Scratch that, one to 10 actually scratch that zero to 10. Anyway, so here he is compared to the, the average wide receiver. As you can see, his vertical is much better. His 40 is a little bit slow. He's a little bit bigger than the average wide receiver. He's got a good broad jump and a good three cone shuttle. This means that he's going to be able to get off the line and get some separation. He's not going to be getting his separation from his speed right here. As you can see over here, this is how he compares to Randall Cobb, another former Green Bay player. Randall Cobb is a little bit faster and got a little bit better bench. But the thing about Randall Cobb is he was a slot receiver. And so he was getting all of his separation due to his speed. We go over here and we can look at this histogram and see how Devontae Adams ranked versus all the other college wide receivers. He had 233 receptions over his college career. And that puts him in, I would say, one of the upper percentiles of college players, college wide receivers. He had 38 touchdowns. Look at this again, in the upper echelon of the wide receiver category at the college level, and then 3,331 receiving yards. And again, in the upper echelon of the wide receiver category. So Devontae Adams is a really good wide receiver. How does he compare to arguably the best wide receiver in the game, Julio Jones? Julio Jones plays for the Atlanta Falcons, and since we're already in NFL team analysis, let's see what we can do. Here he is. Wow, look at that. Julio Jones is above and beyond all the other average wide receivers. And he's better than Devontae Adams in all categories except for vertical. How does Julio Jones rank? 179 receptions, right? Putting him at average 15 touchdowns and 2,653 receiving yards. He's so average. Why was he picked first overall? Well, this is probably because Julio Jones came out of college early. Look at this. Compared and his combine metrics are off the charts. Here's Julio Jones, this red line, compared to the average wide receiver based on their round, the round that they were picked in. He's head and shoulders above everyone else. Look at that. So Julio Jones was drafted by Alabama right here. Let's go ahead and see some other wide receivers that were drafted by Alabama. Let's see. Amari Cooper. This guy's really good. As you can see, he was drafted by the Oakland Raiders. He's no longer on the team. He's on the Dallas Cowboys. He was traded for a first round pick, but he was also a first round pick. Number four overall, actually. Look at this. He is also better than your average NFL wide receiver. 
as you can see, we have this zero value. That's indicating that we do not have data for that combine metric, okay? Here he is compared to Julio Jones. As you can see, Julio Jones' athleticism is so far above Amari Cooper's. You go over here and look at Amari Cooper's stats. He started one more year than Julio Jones, and you can see that in his receptions, his touchdowns, and his uh, receiving yards, which puts him in the upper echelon. So let's go ahead and look. He was selected in 2015. Who are some other NFL players that were selected in 2015? Let's see. Oh, Devin Funches. This guy was selected by the Carolina Panthers, if I remember correctly. Ah, there you go, right? Number 41 overall. This puts this guy in the second round. Look at this. This guy is tall. He's fat. Really slow 40 time. Vertical time. He's got a good vertical, good bench, good broad jump. He seems to be in the, the lower range of the college stats. And doesn't seem to look at all. He doesn't match at all what an average second round player would be. So why did they pick him? I don't know. I think he personally looks a little bit more like a tight end. So who are some tight ends that were picked that year? Let's go compare him to that. Let's see. Jesse James. If I remember correctly, this guy was picked by the, the Steelers. Ah, yeah, there you go. Steelers. Number 60. You got this guy in the fourth round pick. Like, that's crazy. Fourth, fifth round, right? And look at how he compares to Devin Funches. This is crazy. He's a little bit taller. He weighs a little bit less. A better 40 time. Same vertical. Better bench. Better broad jump. What's What are they doing? Why did Carolina pick Devin Funches in the second round, right? This is crazy. This guy is... He looks like a first round tight end based on his combine stats. Anyway, that's enough about that. But as you can see, this is how the tool works. And you can sit here and you can go through other kind of positions like quarterback. Who was a quarterback taken? Brett Hundley. This guy played for Green Bay. Look at this. It's really athletic kind of quarterback. He's going to be able to escape the pocket pretty well. Look at that. Pretty decent passing yards. Actually, I take that back. Puts him kind of in the average, doesn't it? This guy seems to be pretty average. He was picked UCLA. We didn't have a bench score. Quarterbacks don't typically do the bench anymore. They don't want to show those weak little arms. All throwing is is core strength anyway. So that's all I've got for today. Thanks, guys.